This series of videos is going to show you how to set up, observe with and shut down the 16 inch telescope if you're going to want to use it for eyepiece or public observing. Uh, the 16 inch telescope is located in the larger of the two domes here at the Strawbridge Observatory. So there's a few things you need to do before you go observing. Um, you obviously need to check the weather. It needs to be clear to be able to see the stars. Um, but if it's too windy, if it's so windy your hat would blow off outside, it's too windy to open the domes and you can't go observing. We need to pay attention to moisture too. We don't want to get the telescopes or the equipment wet. Um, so if there's snow on the dome, any imminent threat of rain or snow, or if it's so humid that moisture is condensing on surfaces, you can't go observing. You need to find a partner to go observing with. Uh, we don't allow students to go in the domes alone. If you're struggling to find an observing partner, please get in touch. Finally, you need a plan for your observing. Not all objects are up at night all of the year. Um, if you have a specific object that you've been asked to observe, you want to look up in advance when it's up at night, what times of night, what times of the semester. Or if you're just going observing to look at something interesting, you know, at a specific time or for public observing, um, you just want to go and use a program like Stellarium or a phone app or Heavens Above online, anything like that, to just come up with a list of interesting potential objects to look at while you're at the telescope so you're not wasting your time at the telescope. To access the domes, you're going to need a key. Uh, you'll be given one once you've demonstrated your understanding of all the steps in this video. On your way up the stairs, stop at the cupboard to pick up a flashlight and the 16-inch telescope accessory box. When you reach the top of the stairs, the 16-inch telescope will be on your right. Watch your head as you enter the dome. The clicking noise you hear is the ultrasonic bird repeller. You can unplug it ahead of you to the right while you're in the dome and plug in the red lights. Behind you, you'll find the switch to turn on power to allow the dome to rotate. From the top of the stairs, you should be able to reach the white rope and unhook it to open the dome. Make sure to open the dome before you uncover the telescope using the white rope to rotate the wheel. After you're done, don't forget to hook the rope so it doesn't get caught when you rotate the dome. Remove the plastic sheeting from the telescope. There's a step ladder to help you reach if you need it. And you can store this on the roof of the warm room. Remove the back port cover by unscrewing it. And in the accessory box, find Jim, the micro focuser, and screw it into the port. Now locate the corner cube reflector. This is used to change the direction of the light and use a thumb screw to attach it to Jim. You'll find the eyepiece in a velvet bag. Take it out, remove the caps, and use a thumb screw to attach it to the corner cube reflector. After you're done, put all the caps and the bag back into the accessory box for safekeeping. Plug the power cord you'll find in the accessory box into the outlets near the pier um, and then into the control panel. Finally, plug the hand box, again, from the accessory box into the control panel. There's a hook on the telescope. You can hang this on. Then you can remove the lens cap from the finder scope and the main scope and start observing. So now that we're all set up, the next step is going to be aligning and focusing the telescope. 